All right, Snipe Squad, what is going on back again? It is your boy, Sniper Jones Jones. I am back with another video for you at top. What is going on, everybody? Listen, listen, I don't know what you're doing, where you been, but Jordan Brand literally just shocked the world, or at least they shocked me. Usually, you know what I'm saying, I have pride in these type of things. I usually am on top of surprise drops, surprise exclusive releases, but this one I had no idea about. If any of you knew about this surprise, drop down below in the comments, please let me know, because I didn't have no idea. But regardless, Jordan Brand just came through and he had two separate releases for the Jer Jordan Reserve shoes, okay? The first one was a lot of Jordan ones that came out, I would say between this year, maybe a little bit of last year, uh, just going through a few so I won't overlook them, but it was 11 p.m. Eastern time so i'm not sure where you at but wherever you at 11 p.m eastern time here 11 a.m i'm sorry 11 a.m eastern time and they pretty much came out with air jordan one volt they had the air jordan one og uh midnight navy they had the air jordan one lucky green and the women's pair they also had the black and gold metallic joint and then last but not least they had the air jordan one zoom that was a part of the first air jordan uh choice that you could have selected because it was two different Air Jordan reserves. Second, they had, you know, other shoes other than the Air Jordan 1. They had sneakers like the uh, Blue Cement 3. They had the Black Concord 12, the Apple Green, aka the Oregon Duck Jordan 5. They had the Lucky Green 13s, the Black Royal 13s, the Starfish Women 4s, and they also had the UNC 9s, and they had the Chili Red Air Jordan 7s. Now, that is a lot of sneakers, okay? I was in my room, you know, I ain't gonna hold you. I was watching the Million Dollar Worth of Game podcast. You guys don't know me, Holla, and uh, my boy Mike, aka Head Capone. We all have a podcast as well called the Shaking My Head Podcast. We literally upload every single Thursday. Uh, the link is down below in the description if anybody wants to see those videos. They are there. We have our own YouTube channel, but that's what I be doing on my off time. You know what I'm saying? I try to educate myself. I watch uh, podcasts that I like, and I try to infiltrate that to my videos or, or, or learn here and there. But anyway... The notification drop down, I click it ASAP, and I go over, and the first thing I try to grab was some Air Jordan 1s. Y'all already know, it got the highest value, and a lot of those ones I don't have in my collection. Like, I did a video on the vault, but I don't have it. What I really wanted was that Midnight Navy joint. I don't have those shoes in my collection, and I really thought those would have been fire, but I ultimately had no luck in any of these Air Jordans that came out today. I think, really, if I would have known they, they were coming out, I really would have had a chance because I think I went on the app around 11.01. By that time, it was already sizes sold out, so I don't believe that sizes was crazy. I did want to make this video to see, did any of you guys actually hit? And more importantly, who knew about this? I truly did not know anything about this. I really wish I did, but I love it when Jordan come through and give us these shock drops, man. It's fun. It just brings us back to that place where... You know, you, we excited for sneakers again, man. Especially shoes that we probably missed because no matter what, if, if the shoe came out a week later, you still got to pay more for what it's going for. Rarely do you see shoes being sold under resale. So just about, even if some of those are bricks, right? People might say the Dark Concord 12 is a brick, uh, the Blue Cement 3s is a brick, whatever you want to say. All those shoes go for more than re retail. Even if it's $10 or $5 or $20 over retail, it's still over retail. So to have a fair shot at getting some of these Air Jordans that came out the last few months uh, for retail, I mean, you really can't beat it. You really can't beat it. I, like I said, I know me personally, I was going for the Vault ones and I was going for that Midnight Navy, but they sold out super fast. And I think it may still be some sizes on certain shoes because to be honest, to me, uh, some of these shoes, like yeah, like the chili, the chili uh, set sevens, the chili red sevens. It's eleven twelve, and it's still two pair up now. But majority of everything sold out. The universally blue nine sold out. The starfish women four sold out. Uh, Black royal fourteens. By the time this video comes out, everything gonna be sold out. Everything gonna be sold out. But I really wasn't excited about certain shoes, you know, like the Black Concord twelves. Uh, the Apple Green 5s, the Lucky Green 13s, the Black Royal. I mean, come on. Some of those are ducks. I get it. You know, but like, like I said, a lot of people didn't get a chance to eat for retail. I know. I literally did a video maybe two months ago where I traded half of these shoes that's on here uh, for one pair of shoes, which was the Call 4s. I traded like maybe seven pair of shoes for the Call 4s. So check that video out if you haven't seen it. But maybe we can expect another one of these crazy, uh, crazy shock drops 
in the near future where like Jordan Brand come through and uh, bless us once again. I mean, the sneakers app, but as, as much as people say they don't like the sneakers app, and trust me, the only knock I have on the Nike sneakers app is why the hell is everything a draw, bro? Like, I hate draws. I really wish that we can just sit there, wait in line to get the W or the L. Now that they doing draws, it's really frustrating. If you like draws more, comment down below in the comments. But if you like to just stand in line and wait for your L, wait for your W better, let me know down below. I feel like when you do a draw, you allow so many more people to participate. And there's so many more extra phones and extra devices and extra bots. I feel like draws just, it's wait in line, three minutes, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? If you give people 10 minutes to enter a draw, Come on, bro. They're going to put in 30 machines. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be 30 different registries for one. You know, I, I just really don't like how to draw and really set up. That, that's me. But like I said, comment down below if you like to draw more or if you like the regular standing line and wait for your L or wait for your W. But anyway, regardless, all of these were waiting line. You know what I'm saying? I, I love that. The only thing I have to say is as much trash as people talk about the Nike sneakers app, we literally just seen the Adidas app or the Adidas Confirm app fold on us for the phone runners. Like that, that app folded. It was so many people trying to get the phone runners at one time. The Adidas Confirm app wouldn't even allow you to get into the draw. It was so hard. Like I went for the moon colorway and I went for the sand colorway. My girlfriend actually hit the sand colorway for me. The app was so hard to use. It was so hard to get through. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. Like when we see how hard it is to, to to use the Adidas app. We have like a newfound respect for the Nike app because Nike sneakers is nowhere near as worse as that. I mean, that Adidas app is like trigonometry, bro. Like they won't even let you in. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. I love Adidas. I love the shoes. I love the phone runner. I'm super excited that I got a phone runner, but the app definitely needs to be worked on a little bit more because it does not. It's not able to hold the capacity. I don't know if they need a better server or if they need, uh, but I, I don't know, because that's not my strong suit. I'm not I'm not big on tech and, 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 and all that stuff, right? But what I do know is, it's a million people on Sneakers app every weekend. Every weekend. Even though we get L's, and for the most part, like 98% of the time, everybody's able to get in and get out. Every time Adidas drops something, bro, it's always a problem on the app. Every single time. I don't know why. It, it, it's crazy, bro. But regardless, shout out to Jordan Brand. Shout out to Nike Sneakers app. We just got hit with a bunch of different sneakers. And I would not be surprised if they was to do this again. So be checking out for your phone tomorrow. It may be around the same time. It may be not. This is just my opinion. I don't have any inside information on any of these things that just took place today. But I really hope maybe somebody that watched these videos got a W on something today. Because your boy Snipe came up empty handed once again. Thank y'all for watching, man. Like I said, let me know if y'all copied anything down below. And I will see y'all in the next one. It is your boy, Snapper Jones. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous, but who really putting in that work, though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.